There have been radical changes brought to Florida family law, effective July 1st of 2023. This is Christian Straley of Alvin Straley, FullFocusLaw.com, and I am here to tell you, words matter. Even just one, and especially to wordsmiths like lawyers. And that is because it took just one word to radically modify the law as it pertains to all modification of time sharing with children here in Florida, and one word to change modification of alimony as it pertains to the finding of a supportive relationship and to the establishment of alimony. There were several words used to change the modification of time sharing award with children when it pertains to relocation and also the modification of alimony when it comes to retirement. There have been substantial additions to how we establish alimony here in Florida. First, regarding timesharing, the one word change that applies to all modifications is that we have removed the word unanticipated from the elements of proof. Before, a person seeking to modify a, a judgment regarding timesharing with children had to show that there had been a substantial material and unanticipated change in circumstances. By removing the word unanticipated, a person no longer has to prove that a substantial material change was also unexpected. Regarding relocation, those modification actions have been changed in that a person who had their judgment entered when they lived more than 50 miles from the child who has since moved to within 50 miles of the child may use that as a basis to bring in action for a substantial material change in circumstances whereas that provision did not exist before. Regarding the changes to alimony, the one word change is to change the word of may to the word must before a person who proved a supportive relationship, a person paying alimony, proved that the receiving spouse was actually being supported by somebody else, faced the judge with discretion as to whether to change or terminate alimony. Today, if a paying spouse proves that the receiving spouse is in a supportive relationship, the judge must modify or terminate alimony. That's a big word. Regarding retirement, there's been a codification of the rights and standards to get to your modification. Regarding the establishment of alimony, alimony is no longer a life sentence in Florida. We have removed the word permanent from the categories of alimony. We now have temporary, bridge the gap, rehabilitative, and durational alimony. Bridge the gap is meant to assist a person from to transition from being married to being single. Rehabilitative is designed to assist a person to attain the capacity for self-support and durational is for a set period of time. One important factor in setting alimony is the length of the marriage. A few years ago in Florida, we had introduced definitions as to what was a short-term, a moderate-term, and a long-term marriage. It used to be a short-term marriage was less than seven, moderate was seven to 17 years, and a long-term was a marriage of more than 17. Today, a short-term marriage is less than 10 years, a moderate-term marriage is one from 10 to 20 years, and a long-term marriage is one of over 20 years. There has been an introduction of formulas and limits for the first time in Florida, so that a short-term marriage is only eligible for alimony that lasts 50% of the short-term marriage, 60% of a moderate marriage, or 75% of the length of a long-term marriage. Therefore, an eight-year short-term marriage today, which would have been a moderate-term marriage, now only qualifies for a maximum of four years alimony. And a long-term marriage of 20 years only qualifies for 15 years alimony instead of until you die. There is also a limit is 35% of the net difference of the party's income. There has been added provisions for the uh, portionment of life insurance costs, and they have removed tax consequences from the consideration. Now, one might ask, while well, we're discussing radical changes in the law and the tax treatment was radically changed a few years ago, might it be wise to have left that in in case there's another major change to tax law? That's for another video. For today, remember that you have rights. You should know them. You should use them. Thank you and good luck.